Hello, everyone, and welcome to yet another Two Minute Tuesday. This week, I want to talk about kind of a new feature. It's not it's not super new, but it's new to a lot of people because they're still working with the old customization and configuration toolkit, essentially, of Dynamics 365. You know, the one that you find when you go into settings, customizations, customize the system. You're used to it by now. We've been using that for, you know, over a decade. So, um, you know, one of the things that the new customization toolkit comes, the maker portal, and I'm going to navigate to it right now. So make that powerapps.com. And we we've talked about this in a couple of other tips, you know, the new form editor is there, the new view editor is there, and eventually everything will migrate into this thing. But one of the things that you probably haven't seen is the fact that we can create new field types within Dynamics 365 via the maker portal. In this case, I want to talk about a requirement that comes up once in a while, and that is the idea of creating a auto number field. Now, if you use the XRM toolbox, there is a tool in there that allows you to create auto number fields, but there's probably no need for you to use the tool if you use the maker portal. So in this case, we're going to generate automatically an auto number for an account record. So let's just say every time you create an account, you want to have, you know, a auto a number automatically assigned to that account like an account number essentially uh, in a lot of situations in a lot of companies an account is first created in CRM or in Dynamics 365 and then once they become a customer meaning once you close an opportunity as one let's say the account was created when you qualify to lead or maybe it was manually created but once the opportunity is closed as one then something is something triggers a synchronization into the ERP system and perhaps you already have an account number created automatically by the system. So how do we do that? Well, let's start the countdown and let's go. So in this case, uh, within the maker portal, I'm going to navigate into the account entity and you notice that you automatically land on fields. So pretty straightforward. I'm going to add a field and in here you're going to add the display name for this field maybe this is called ERP account number or however you want to call it customer ID doesn't matter uh, how you call the field so you're gonna give it a name and then once you give it a name look we have the ability to add any field just like we had on the old system on the you know classic customization and configuration the best thing about this one is that they're all grouped together which is really nice but if you focus too much on whole number and currency and decimal number and you're like where is the auto number it's actually a type of text field so notice it right there auto number so now i select that and i'm able to put a prefix on it maybe this is something like customer number so i can put cust and notice you get a preview really really quick so if you uh, if you have a huge volume of, of customers that are coming in and out whatever it is you may switch this to a six digit or five or whatever it is you can change that and notice again that the preview is coming down really really quick you can also specify what's the value to get started on and through advanced options we actually get to specify things like maximum length how many characters you want to have in there uh, there's a ton of uh, you know options that we have even through the auto number type look I can go into a custom field in here and I can say, look, I want to change it from a sequential number. I want to use something else. I want to use date and time. I want to be able to append things like random strings of numbers, whatever it is. So you really get to create a super custom auto number field or an auto number value for every customer in this case. Or you can do this for any entity, really. It can be a custom entity too. Uh, and they are pretty awesome. It works really, really great. And it never fails. So... I hope you learned something today. We're now able to create auto numbers in Dynamics 365. Remember, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that like button for this video. And feel free to share this online on the community and to all your coworkers. We'll see you next week for another 2-Minute Tuesday tip. See ya.